Mankins are demos used by artists, tailors and dressmakers to display or fit clothing. Ivan Kaya, a trader in downtown, says mannequins have been his source of income for years. So what is the perception that unclothed mannequins attract negative thoughts? According to Mukaya, traders prefer a certain size and build of these models. In Kampara's downtown business hub, the monarchies are a very common marketing tool to attract shoppers. The figure comes out very well and uh, it becomes very attractive to the clients, especially men. Because when a man buys it, uh, finds a dress, it's well displayed on that dummy. You'll be able to buy it for a wife. Don't really, because that's a dummy. <laughs> you cannot be attracted by a dummy unless you have something else on your mind. Six packs is occasional, but it's probably problem. Name a face, come back and become ruined. Six pack. They're dressed up in all sorts of fashions. We sought views on the dummies as regards body image and self esteem issues. They're influenced Kwanga. When you look at a dummy and it looks good, you would want to go for that particular cloth on that dummy. But you know, what I call it, Rusi Cabino, Rusi, one of Maso, Nagany, and Yarabe. I don't know the bang, it was a bit married before. Nothing from Navarro. I got another Nakatu, 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 some people say their use should be regulated. Ministry, ekola kusonge zeze go zeze biyobuntu bula. Singate bi kiri zaku itao. Eguanga teria rifana nyawele tone. Eguanga dia yononeka. Okuvira dala okumutwe. The first fashion mannequins were made in France in the 1920s by artists to produce more lifelike appearance to attract buyers. Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV.